Hello everybody, I am Marzi Muzaffari, a PhD scholar uh, at Pusan University of Foreign Studies. Uh, today I am going to talk about the status of uh, inheritance of the Coptic minority uh, women in Egypt. I have uh, <coughs> divided my presentation into sections. In section one, I provide a basic explanation for Coptic uh, Egyptian minority, and in section two, I discuss uh, Coptic personal status law and how to execute it, as well as the impact of uh, Egyptian um, people's traditional culture and custom on inheritance. Now we can move to the introduction. The Egyptian uh, legal system is based on Islamic law, but it is also inspired by uh, French law. In fact, it is, uh, it is a hybrid of European and Islamic law. Islam is the main source of legislation according to Article 2 of Egyptian constitution, which was revised in 1980. Uh, the provising, um, uh, uh, provision of the personal status law were codified in 1883 uh, and still apply today based on the principles of the Hanafi school. There are 14 minority groups recognized in uh, Egyptian society who according to Article 3 of the Constitution are free to act by their laws of personal status. Uh, the main non-Muslim community in Egypt are uh, Christian minority groups which Coptic Orthodox being the most populous uh, they uh, make up a sizable, uh, distinct uh, segment of Egypt's population and they uh, deserve to be uh, studied. Let's uh, see uh, who, is, uh, who are Copts. Uh, the Copts are a Christian sect that originated in Alexandria despite the challenges and uh, tribulations that came with the development of Islam in the 7th century, they remained Christian in Egypt and now make up the Middle East largest Christian group. They are sizable that uh, the um, ethnic and uh, religious uh, legacy of the um, distinct uh, uh, tents uh, of the um, pharaohs and uh, Egyptian residents. Although the actual number of Coptic Orthodox Christian in uh, Egypt is uh, unclear, the Egyptian government estimates that they are around 5 million Copts, while the Copt Orthodox uh, Church claim that uh, they are between 15 and 18 million. However, exact number are difficult to come by. Estimates uh, suggest they around for uh, between 6% uh, and 18% of the population. Despite the persons of Copt in Syria, Libya, J Jordan and other countries, the bulk of Copts are Egyptian. <coughs> Now we can move to section two, uh, and I want to explain about personal status law. Personal status uh, is a term of contemporary law that was borrowed from French law and has caused a shift in the law of France and other countries since the author of French civil code in, uh, rented it. Personal status is defined differently in various countries' law. Egyptian personal status legislation is a diversified legal system with various religious traditional uh, traditions impacting the content and method of personal status determinations of, for uh, different segments of the Egyptian people. Marriage, divorce, child custody, and inheritance are all examples of personal status in Egyptian law. Following the introduction of this 
phrase into uh, uh, Islamic law and, and the need to make a regulation uh, pertaining uh, to it, Islamic juries independently examine it. However, in Islamic jurisprudence, uh, uh, there have been instances of uh, personal status uh, and matters such as marriage, divorce, inheritance, and other have been among the most important topics. Muslims have also uh, long been considered the uh, need to uh, respect the personal status of non-Muslims during the uh, caliph of Omar and uh, conquest uh, of Egypt by Amroz. Egypt was uh, divided into several sections and for each section a Copt, uh, Coptic uh, judge was uh, appointed who uh, settled the religious and civil claim of uh, non-Muslims according to their Sharia. Even during disputes between Copts and Arab, their disputes were he he heard in panel of judges, uh, uh, Copts and Muslims. As a result, non-Muslim has historically had some uh, judicial and legislative uh, autonomy over their personal status and religious affair. They are also have their own uh, courts that dealt with personal status disputes among uh, adherents of same faith. The Egyptian uh, judicial system was unified in 1956. Religious councils were a uh, strip of their judicial authority. Each recognized uh, religious uh, group was free to maintain uh, the, the, its own personal status legislation. The Coptic Orthodox uh, Religious uh, Council passed a rule in 1938 that uh, applies to Egypt, uh, Egypt's uh, largest minority po uh, population, the Orthodox Copts. Uh, the last time this status, uh, statutes uh, were amended was in uh, 2008. In addition to protect the rights of Christians, the Coptic Orthodox Religious Council has tried to pass a single personal law among all Christian communities. The Egyptian constitution attempts to protect religious freedom, respect for other religious, uh, and uh, respect for their right. On the other hand, the legislature has attempted to unify several areas of personal status law between Muslim and non-Muslim. For example, succession, uh, testamentary uh, bequests, uh, guardianship of uh, property, absence, custody are all examples of this. Furthermore, uh, Egyptian courts apply Islamic law to non-Muslim in the area of inheritance, which is one of the most challenging issue of uh, personal status. Some refer to the legis uh, legislature um, paradoxical act, the um, perspective of uh, national uni unity. Uh, <clears throat> according to the uh, Bible, there are two ways to distribute uh, inheritance. The first method is uh, practice justice, uh, which is uh, a virtue. There is no difference between a, a man and woman, according to a, a Bible verse. Uh, nor is there male and female, for you are all of on, uh, one in uh, Christ Jesus. There, therefore, uh, this verse is the uh, cornerstone of the equal inheritance of men and women in Christianity. <coughs> The second method of inheritance uh, div the division is based on need. Property is divided among family members by a need, according to the uh, Bible. Um, and they were uh, laying them uh, at the feet of the apostles, and it was given to anyone according to whatever was needed. As a result, according to this uh, verse of Bible, if 
the family members agree the inheritance should be split uh, according to their needs, uh, which means that in a family which uh, affluent and poor members, the weaker obtain more uh, property. Hence, uh, according to the Coptic Orthodox bill, men and me, uh, women inherit equally. Despite this law, Egyptian courts rule on non-Muslim under Islamic law that a man inherits uh, twice as uh, much as a man. This issue has been controversial not only among Christians but also among Muslims. Many Christian women have tried to uh, assert the, the rights in Egyptian courts. However, in recent years, Egyptian courts have uh, refused to apply Islamic law to Christians uh, preferring to apply non-Muslim uh, law. More importantly, the Cairo Court of uh, Appeals found in uh, favor of Christian law on May 20th, uh, 2019, despite the uh, plaintiff uh, brothers of opposition, which demanded the application of Islamic law, re raising hope among human rights activities. In another case, Hoda Nasrullah, a Coptic Egyptian human rights lawyer, despite her family agreeing to distribute the inheritance equality between them, decided to dis um, dispute the status uh, 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 co-asking uh, the court to impose a, a suc uh, succession order based on Coptic inheritance law, giving her a share of the equality to her brother. She proved her claim under Article 3 of Constitution, giving uh, the right to Coptic Egyptians to apply canon laws as the main source of legislation to uh, re uh, regulations amongst uh, other their personal status matter and Article 1 of Law Number 25, 1944, on applicable principle in inheritance matter stipulates that that if the deceased is not a Muslim, uh, the heirs have uh, the option to, uh, of uh, applying their own canon law rather than Islamic Sharia. Therefore, according to um, the 1938 Coptic Charter, the inheritance should be distributed equally between male and female heirs. Finally, after a long process on November 25th in 2019, the Helwan family court divided the inheritance equality between men and women heirs according to Coptic principle after annulling the uh, succession or the issue in a, 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 um, accordance with Islamic law. These two cases raised the equality of inheritance between men and women, which is a sensitive issue in Egyptian society. These cases are important from several perspectives. First, the legal uh, significance of these um, cases lies in the fact that they were able to uh, pursue uh, persuade, uh, the court to apply the law of inheritance and equal rights of men and women according to Coptic principle with strong arguments that had a legal and log logical basis. Furthermore, the, these cases are uh, socially uh, significant since they open a new chapter in Egyptian uh, women's um, rights, perhaps motivating the creations of unified uh, Christian legislation, and it might uh, also serve as the foundations for Muslim women having equal inheritance rights. As you see, some Egyptian Coptic men want to uh, advantage from Islamic legislation in relation to inheritance. So it seems that the question of inheritance extends beyond Islamic law to include uh, 
Egyptian society's culture and custom, as well as the ex uh, sexist legal, legal um, system. In the par um, patriarchal Egy uh, Egyptian society, men are responsible for the um, management and economic uh, decision of the um, family. Even working women uh, must hand over their salary to their husband. Therefore, when they get a, an inheritance, they give their inheritance to their husband. As a result, the uh, woman's brothers and cousins ref uh, refuse to share in uh, inheritance, fearing that the family property will not pass to her uh, spouse or um, children because they believe that their property should not be given to a stranger. Women in Egypt are afraid to claim their inheritance. Uh, women's right defenders believe that men use Islamic law to their advantage. They uh, go beyond Islamic law and uh, deprive women of their legal right. This is a kind of economic violence. The Egyptian uh, government has attempted to reform inheritance law to empower women. The inheritance law was um, um, uh, amended in uh, December 2016 and September 2017. Women rights uh, advocated claim uh, that uh, these laws are infected and many women are uh, either uh, unaware of their laws and rights or, or refuse to sue their brothers and cousins because of family scandals. Women are part of society and the advancement of women is linked to the advancement of society. Uh, women will be empowered and uh, Egyptian society's growth and uh, prosperity will be aided by changing uh, patriarchal Egyptian society's uh, Iranian uh, practice and revising the uh, law. The uh, uh, leave, uh, uh, reality of many Egyptian uh, women as well as the many issues they confront clear, uh, clearly demonstrate uh, the necessity for family law reform to improve uh, women's uh, empo uh, empowerment in, uh, inside their families. Now uh, I turn to conclusion. Uh, women are a part of society and their uh, progress is related to society's uh, advancements. By altern uh, alternating um, patriar uh, patriarchal uh, Egyptian society, uh, um, Erroneous uh, practice and uh, revising the law, women will be empowered, and Egyptian society progress and uh, prosperity will be uh, assisted. Many Egyptian women' uh, lives, as well as the uh, numerous different they face, clearly highlight the need for family law reforms to increase women empowerment in society. As a conquest, uh, consequences of the media coverage of the face of fact of the recent instance, Egyptian uh, Coptic women have become more uh, aware of their law and right, and they are fighting harder than uh, ever to obtain their right. This is encouraging. Uh, encouraging uh, news for Egyptian women. Thank you for uh, your attention. Well, thank you, Marcy, for your presentation, and thank you for letting.